Good morning, everyone. Uh, hopefully, everybody's drinking their, drinking their coffee. I'm going to tell a little bit of background about NextGen, uh, kind of the vision behind NextGen, also a little bit about my background, Kelly's background. Some of you guys know me, some of, some of you don't. Uh, I started my career uh, uh, developing software on a Trash 80 and using IBM punch cards, you know, and card readers, my programs. Uh, out of engineering school, I went to work for Mac Store, developing a 10 megabyte hard drive for the IBM PCXT. We used to sit around back then and argue whether or not 20 me 10 megabytes was too much, and we were working on a 20 meg drive, and whether anybody would ever use 20 <coughs> megabytes in their PC or not. The answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler but, alert. Uh, they yeah. Do. <laughs> yeah, I think nobody argues that anymore. It's all about uh, you know higher density. No, now it's whether 20 terabytes is too much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But uh, Kelly and I were working at Maxdoor's network systems group. Maxdoor acquired a company called CDS to get into the NAS business. It's called the MaxAttach. And Kelly and I were running a software development team there. And uh, uh, customers love their, you know, it's just a little box with a couple of drives in it. And, and customers love their first MaxAttach, but they hated their 10th MaxAttach. So customers used to ask us, is there any way to kind of cluster these together and virtualize them into a pool? And uh, that led to our vision for Left Hand Networks. So Kelly and I were both the founders, the original founders of Left Hand Networks. And it was a clustered scale out architecture. A lot of you guys are familiar with it. We sold that company to Hewlett Packard in 2008. And Kelly and I, uh, by the way, the, the company was founded in the same basement. Uh, NextGen was founded in the same basement where we founded uh, Left Hand Networks. So, just really like that smell. It, it's, <laughs> it, it's more of a data center than a basement, but uh, <laughs> it now has carpet and it has some paint on the walls. And yeah, in Colorado, the funds, it's really good for that. Yeah, in Colorado, we uh, start companies in basements because the garages are too cold. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, the basement's finished now. There's enough power down there to run a nuclear reactor, I think, in uh, racks and gear. But uh, and old parts from left hand and everything else. We still have the original one new box, yellow box from left hand. We thought Corvette yellow was going to be the key thing, right? And, and the marketing guy we hired said, nah, you can't do Corvette yellow, man. That's not going to sell. Guys aren't going to buy that. They're going to think it's a toy. Hey, look but at then, that. Yeah, three par. I mean, yeah, I was pissed off. I said, you know, we could have been there. But uh, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, the real, you know, the real vision uh, uh, out of, you know, for NextGen came out of our experience at Left Hand working with customers. Uh, you know, Left Hand was all about seamlessly scaling disk and ha having controller I/O with each disk module, so that you scale capacity with performance, right? Not everything behind one controller, but having a controller per brick and load balancing across those bricks. Of course, I was a clustering purist. And so, you know, we were looking at all this distributed systems technology out there, and I said, well, you can't have, you know, you, you have to have <coughs> distributed metadata, and you have to have data locality awareness with the client, you know, and, and so that all the I.O. doesn't go to one box, look up where it belongs in a routing table, and go to the appropriate box. I would, you know, I said, that technology will never work. You know, of course, you know, Equalogic had that technology and was very successful, so I'm less of a technology purist from a clustering viewpoint this, today. Uh, you know, I think it's all about what problem you're solving for the customer and whether they, whether those those purist technology uh, <coughs> aspects to the solution uh, really matter for the customer. But the vision, the, the vision for next gen really uh, came out of our experience with customers saying, well. You know, they would always ask us, how many VMs can I run against your SAN? And as I add VMs to the SAN, am I taking away performance from the ones that are already running? You know, and then we'd go in there and analyze their workloads, and we'd see this big spike here and there, and say, well, you really need to size it around that spike. And, you know, and then we would do that, and they would start complaining about their Oracle database when they went to virtualize the performance was all over the place, so they put it back on direct debt storage. And so there was this constant battle of figuring out, you know, what are the performance characteristics? It's, it's, SAN is a shared system, right? Multiple applications share it. So, you know, we, there was no way to control performance or guarantee quality of service around performance. When app, one application spiked to impact all the others, we'd always size a system to worst case. 
And then that still didn't work because, you know, as soon as there, there were multiple applications kind of in a worse case mode, it made a new worst case mode and constantly adding disk to, to handle, the, handle the performance. And, and you know, a, a story that really hit me right between the eyes too, we were talking to a, a, a large customer down in San Diego that had an EMC system with 650 disks in it and they were, they were running out of performance, they needed more performance. So we came in there and introduced a left-hand solution. I think it was close to 100 nodes because left-hand replicated, cut capacity in half because of the replication scheme. But, uh, you know, so we sized this thing up and, you know, it was close to the same cost as a million dollar EMC system. It was 650 disks, 650, you know, a little bit more than 650 disks on the left-hand side. And, and the customer looked at me and said to myself, so I'm, I'm exchanging all these disks for all these disks you know, what am I really buying? Maintenance costs about equal, performance is a little bit better on the left hand, but what am I really buying? It really hit me right between the eyes is, you know, this disk sprawl and constantly adding disk to handle performance spikes, to handle, uh, you know, your growing, growing performance needs. And so the vision around NextGen was really, how do we do, how do we do quality of service for SAN? You know, how do we guarantee performance for an application on a shared system? You know, because I, that, that's the big unsolved problem in the shared storage market today. And, you know, you look at cloud too. So cloud uh, multi-tenancy isn't even, you know, viable without quality of service, right? So the last thing you want is one tenant stomping on another tenant, whether it's private cloud, you know, even, so, so the same problems that exist in a corporation and, and, you know, a private cloud or private data center are the same problems that exist in the cloud where, you need control around performance. You need to be able to manage performance. So our vision was to deliver that technology to the marketplace for the first time. We also saw a real opportunity around solid state. Um, you know, we were experience, experiencing with, experimenting with solid state a lot at HP. And one thing we noticed was, you know, you put a couple of these solid state drives behind these disk controllers and they're bottlenecked after one drive. You know, I mean, here's devices that run at, you know, microsecond latencies, you know, and the controller and the firmware and the RAID and all these algorithms that, that are associated with, the, you know, even the SAS chips and the SAS connections and the drive wire. You know, that whole data path that's designed for disk drives is broken when it comes to solid state. So we saw these guys putting solid state drives behind these controllers, unplugging a disk drive and plugging in a solid state. We thought that was crazy. And why would anybody do that? Oh, well, there, you can get 2x the IOPS, right? Well, you should be getting 100 to 1,000x the IOPS, not 2x the IOPS. So we designed our, our solid state tier to, to be on the PCI Express bus. So we use Fusion IO. We're not necessarily tied to Fusion, but our solid state layer is all on the PCI Express bus. We scale on the PCI Express bus because it's a high speed, low latency interconnect that's, you know, you, so you're. I.O. goes directly to that high-speed, low-latency interconnect. It doesn't go through a controller and firmware and drive wires and SAS chips to get to the end device. And consequently, we can deliver much higher IOPS. So, so our story is really about delivering a very efficient solution, fast solution because it's architect for SSD, so you need less SSD to get more performance, and then delivering quality of service for applications. So multiple applications running off the SAN each getting guaranteed performance. And one of the things we talk about are, is cruise control. So cruise control for your applications. You know, you set the speed limit in your car to 60 miles an hour, and whether you go up a hill or down a hill, it maintains the speed limit. That's what our SAN does for performance. So you set a performance level of throughput, IOPS, and latency for a given set of volumes, and the system maintains that on the back end. And Chris will get into some of the details of that a little bit later. Uh, so we were founded, and Kelly and I founded, again, founded the company early 2010 in Kelly's basement. Uh, we had first prototype at the end of 2010. We did a small financing round to, to get ourselves to beta. And then based on the strength of that beta, we did a, a $10 million financing uh, to go take the product to market. And, and uh, we have, you know, roughly 70 channel partners, you know, dozens of customers and things are really starting to take off. We're starting to build out our sales force. We've got, you know, salespeople in New York, Chicago, Ohio Valley, California, and Colorado, and starting to scale the business. But 
Customers, we you know we sell to the mid-range storage market. You know the 25 to 250k buyer, sand buyer that has performance pain points around virtualization is really looking to looking and and maybe looking to do VDI. Uh, right now, a lot of a lot of you know VDI's best you know VMware's best practice is to put VDI on an island of its own storage because the impact to your existing sand. You know, it has that problem that I talked about when the boot storm hits, it impacts all the other apps on the SAN, so why not put it on its standalone system? We believe that you should be able to put that on your existing SAN with all the other apps, set quality service parameters, and when that boot storm hits, it doesn't impact any of the other apps. That's what we're all about. And so with that, I'll uh, turn it over to Chris. And uh, before I get started, so Kelly, why don't you give a brief intro of uh, just some of your background and experience, and then uh, we'll get into kind of the product overview real quick. So uh, as John mentioned, he and I have actually worked together since 91. Um, this is actually our third startup together. Our first one was CyberNet Creations, which was on a previous slide there. Um, NextGen is our third one. Uh, the, the environment in the market, John and I are always talking about what's coming, what's next, what do we need to do, what are the pain points customers are having, and we're always looking for what the solution is that will help solve customer pain points and be a viable product and business. So <clears throat> when we saw Solid State coming out, Solid State was out, everybody's talking about it. As John said, we saw a variation on that that made a lot more sense for where Solid State should be. And the pain point was the customer. So we saw this synergy of everything was coming together. And so that's actually what we decided for next gen. It's like that, that Solid State on PCIe with some quality of service to solve this customer problem Let's put those together, test it out. I mean, we go into the lab and we validate, we test and verify. And as we mentioned earlier, you know, in my basement, I've got uh, multiple racks of gear that we set up in an environment with three VMware servers pounding on a storage system that was what ended up being our uh, next-gen product. So coded up some, some quality of service, coded up the functionality for using solid state and SaaS, put it all together and tested it out and said, That'll do it. That'll do it. Let's go do it. So John and I have been together. I've been in the storage industry for many, many years. Um, everything from head media interactions, uh, magnetic flux transitions, all the way up through RAID arrays, algorithms and drives, um, storage systems. You name it, I've probably done it in the storage realm, bottom to top. So that's kind of my history. I'm, I'm the technical. Uh, these guys are very technical. So feel free to ask technical questions of all three of us. We're all very technical and capable of answering. So. That's kind of my background. All right, thanks, Kelly. 